Hello everyone, this is Murat and today we are going to build a full stack application that will enable us to upload and download files from MongoDB database. Uh, this will be a MERN stack tutorial, so MongoDB, Express, React and Node.js. This will be the end result. I know it's not the prettiest application, but what we are looking for is that whether it works or not. And what do we want here? We want to add a name and a file and it should be able to like, it should be added to the database. And then we want to retrieve it and download it. So let's my um, newest new new item and for file let me choose yeah I, I'm going to choose this one so I added I couldn't add why that's wrong oh okay name couldn't be more than 20 characters sorry about that this is something I gave and forgot. Yes, now that means uh, 200, uh, 200, 201 means uh, it's success. And if I refresh, I will see the new file, newest item. I can download it. I downloaded it here. Show all downloads. It's here. Will it open in here? It won't open in here. It opened somewhere else. I'm going to show you. It opened here. So we have it here. Anyway, let's leave that. So, yeah. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this. And while this might seem easy, it was not. I mean, I don't think it's easy because in order to do this, we have to create an express server. Um, we have to uh, connect the MongoDB database. We have to use the Malter middleware. Uh, with Express.js to send the files and then using blobs we have to download it uh, on our front end and uh, in whilst doing that we, we, we will have to uh, I mean we don't have to but we will follow MVC model view, view controller pattern so it will be a good tutorial I hope I mean uh, I, I enjoyed if I can say that, learning that stuff, doing that stuff, I had to do it for a client, uh, like the uh, the <clears throat> the need was that my client had an application which had different users and those users were communicating with my client through some files and they were putting files in there, uh, uploading files in there. Uh, accounts and my client was a should be able to should have been able to uh, download those files for his business to continue so uh, th this was one uh, real life uh, application of this process and let me see kill localhost oh my god yeah I had some problems problems with my localhost before this tutorial this is my take two uh, I'm a little bit tired because of that. I made a mistake on my first tutorial, but this time it's going to be okay. I'm closing this. We don't need these anymore because we have seen this is this is what we are going to build. Now, where am I? No, oh, man. Yes, I'm here. I want to create a new file. MongoDB file. This will be and I will see the into it. Here I will create two folders. A, yeah, not file folder, MongoDB folder, uh, file folder, API and client. Why? Because API will contain my backend logic and client will contain my front end logic. I see the into API and create. Just said I have to <clears throat> rewrite many things. Yes, now 
I will need some packages, you know, in order uh, to build this logic, this application, I will need to install express .nv, mongoose, course, and uh, malter, yes. Anything else? I don't think so. Let's let's see. Let's wait for them to uh, be downloaded. Didn't I do it? Ah, oh, it was here. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So, but I I don't want to be here. I want to open the location in here yeah and voila <clears throat> see they are downloaded we are here course.me okay and before starting um, my application let's create an xgs file because this is our main files file i like to create some scripts because I want to yeah oh no 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 there is no source or whatever mate chill now what is this node mon what is this node you know these are the scripts like I want to start my server uh, using these scripts like npm run dev should fire nodemon index.js and what is nodemon and why don't we have it in here nodemon is a is a package that enables uh, enables you to watch uh, a node server without interruption normally uh, like I, I have it uh, globally uh, downloaded globally but if you don't you will have to install it uh, in uh, your API folder like npm i nodemon I don't need to do it because I have it globally so that's what it is without further ado let's start our <coughs> express server let's yeah const this is, you know const express require express you know I have my second screen here so I can uh, be a copycat looking at there you know hm. const app express const dot env config you will see uh, in a minute how we are gonna use this and how useful how important it is um, okay not now um const oh, i'm gonna do it in here well i like to use uh, course uh, package in uh, my applications with like i i don't even know if it's uh, necessary here i don't care like uh, i just want to show that you can use it uh, for what's cross scripting something something course i don't care um up use express json yes now excuse me what is this what is this what did you do okay now let's try i will explain uh, npm run there App user is not a function. App use, okay, typo, of course. And listen on port 3000. Let's check 3000. I should see a hello world there. Yes, we are connected to our server. So we have an express server up and running. That's what we wanted. So, uh, here I'm using this so that I can send JSON uh, in my application and here uh, it sends to base URL hello world I could have done it like this go back refresh hello world yes but no um, we are going to use this one so 
there are certain things I have to do right now, like Sorry about that, that must be really annoying sound Um. Well, I have to connect to a database uh, I, I have to connect to MongoDB database For this I, I will use MongoDB Atlas So I will be needing some connection script I have to write something to my application also, as I said before, I will use MVC model view controller pattern. So I will have to uh, create some files, uh, some folders for them too. Also, I will need an uploads folder because uh, like I need to upload the files uh, somewhere. So I like to create uh, the folders beforehand if I know which folders I'm gonna use. And it, in this case, I know. So I'm still in the API with uh, PWD command. I can see where I am. Make there. Um, DB. Yes. Wonderful. So these are the uh, folders that we will use in this application. I will uh, use controllers, models, and routes for MVC pattern, uploads for files, middleware for middleware, and DB for database. Tuck. As you can see, we have here. Now, in database, I will create a connect.js file. Now, the thing is, actually, I don't need to, uh, I don't have to create any of these folders or the, and put uh, and separate my code you know I can just tuck everything in to my index.js but that will be really ugly and difficult to read and uh, that will be a sin so uh, I won't do that it's called separation of concerns so if it's about controllers I will put it in controls folder if it's about database I will put it database etc and so on and so on now in, uh, did we did we install mongoose yes everything is fine now what's what's that oh my god yeah um <clears throat> now i will call mongoose here mongoose is uh, enables us to communicate with mongodb very easily uh, i'm putting this that this is not that important yes connect db not async this is no man I, I don't want an async function i i just want to put an url and tag this is an arrow function so roll. return mongos connects url tag tag console log connected to mongodb atlas so that i can see uh, if it's connected or not you know tag did i miss anything i don't think so let's see module oh module exports connect db so with this i should be able to using this script i should be able to connect to my database and uh, we'll see how now uh, inside you know api uh, is my backend logic you remember client is my front-end logic so in the root of my api i'm going to create a new file dot env and the moment i create a dot env file i will create a dot git ignore file and write node modules and dot env inside why well this dot git ignore file makes sure that the uh, the files or folders I have written here won't be pushed to GitHub because as you will see soon that if I'm pushing the .env file to GitHub like then there is no reason for me to use a .env file at all so this this is very important I should never ever push my .env file to GitHub I have done it uh, but I mean no said I now I have to make some changes in my index.js file. I have to import the connect db. The, that's const connect db from yes require yes yes yes. And I'm gonna change this. You know, I, 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 right now after this change, I, I will I will do something else. 
um, because right now we have a database I have to start initiate the database there so I am going to yes exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to create a oh my god uh, create a start uh, function and I'm going to choose a try catch block could you please give me the try catch block no okay don't give it okay you don't give it you know your deal well I, I don't use promises I hate promises I always use try catch block because it's much 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 better in my opinion so try catch we have an error here right console log error tag and we have to because this is a function now we have to call it otherwise it wouldn't work what did i do here await connect db process env dot env mongodb uri what is this it won't do anything because there is no such a thing so well, what is going on here what is going on here is that i told you about this env file right and right now we are trying to connect to our database so i have to go to my database um this is my mongodb database i am not uh, going to show you how to uh, how to uh, create a mongodb cluster mongodb database and so on because that's uh, that just takes too much time you know uh, n not that it's difficult it's not difficult it just takes uh, time because uh, like it's a couple of clicks but it takes time for mongodb to create a cluster and i don't want to do that right now so i just assume that uh, you have a mongodb database uh, up and running so this is another tutorial about creating a mongodb database you can find lots of tutorials about that but i will just show you how we can connect it so this is my database i press connect it will give me these uh, choices i say connect your application copy this i copied it close go back to my env file i will write i will create a variable i will pass this and the thing is okay i will show you some cool tricks cool things now I want to give a name to my collection. I can I can create the name uh, name of my collection here between the slash and the interrogation mark. What should our collection be? I will say two. Why? Why? Because this is take two. I uh, I made a mistake in the uh, first one. So yeah. <laughs> so you can name it whatever you want here i will need to give my username and password i'm just going to write tests and tests and after this tutorial i will delete the access of this to uh, to make sure that everything is in order so you will have to write your own uh, username and password here um i save I go back let's close our server so what's gonna happen let's see connected to mongodb atlas server is listening on port 3000 voila so what happened here here uh, in this uh, async start uh, function i'm calling the connect db uh, function that i have written here you know mongoose connect url you see and for the url i am passing the mongo uri uh, variable that i have uh, written here mongo uri as you can see in order for uh, in order to read dot env files i have to write it like that process dot env and i have to uh, import the dot env with config like this const dot dot env require dot env dot config parentheses 
and it works i mean i guess it works it should work it says that it's working but we are going to see like when uh, when we try to add <clears throat> files to it okay anyway now we think <laughs> we hope that we are connected to mongodb so now it's time to put some files some items some some data into mongodb database you know like th th that's what i what we need to do right now and if you remember uh from the project uh, demo that i showed at the beginning we had an item uh we could enter a name of course it will create an id by itself and we could uh enter like upload a file so to do that we will need to create a schema in models like th this is uh, how you do it uh, in uh, in vc pattern yeah it's working now i will create an item item as file i will yeah i will call mongoose require mongoose const item schema new mongo schema i always like to close this because then things gets kind of annoying name well because uh, as i said as we have seen we will need a name and a file so name what will be the type string required yes trim unique oh, no. no 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 okay that's that's enough uh, like the thing uh, you know um, at first we had some problems uh, entering the name that was because of this oh, you know i can give uh, uh, these options max land can be 20 and i will get this error uh, on my console so okay let's let's do it like this and now after the name we will need a file type string yes 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 and that's all now i have to export this no model exports so we are exporting the schema as item um now what we have to do well we have our model i think what we have to do is create a controller and write our api endpoints and our logic what we want to do with this schema let's do that or maybe do i have to um I'm thinking, do I have to uh, write the middleware beforehand? We will write the middleware uh, just whilst doing this. Okay. Let's start a new file. Everything is in order. In control. No, I want this to be controllers. Controllers. Yes new file items gs okay now first i have to uh, require my schema the schema that i've just created so um i think i will also need pet will i yes i will need a pet uh, module uh, from uh, node.js for uh, my file this is a core model so i don't have to install anything for it it's just included in mongodb um so what do i need i need a you know this is where we write our api so well at first in our application we saw a lot of items so i think i need an endpoint for getting all the items I want to add an item and I want to download uh, a file so I have to add this so let's start with get items and here I'm gonna show you a little bit tricks and stuff and like that let's write const get items 
async require response obviously try catch why why aren't you suggesting me my try catch block i want hate this okay oh my god try i can't even write a try catch block what, what i'm trying to do like i shall just quit this altogether i mean if you cannot write a try catch <laughs> um <clears throat> const items equals await item find no not like that and yeah this 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 is what's going to be now it's all cool it's all nice i have my try catch block and i can write all my uh, all my controllers like this but but I mean, in this application, it's okay, you know, because I will just write three controllers. But say I have lots of lots of controllers, lots of lots of logic. So writing this try catch logic might get a little bit annoying. And here I'm going to show you a trick I've learned from Maximilian Schwarzmuller. Uh, sorry if I pronounce his name wrong. Uh, let's go to our middleware. Uh, a folder and create an async wrapper yes what are we going to do let's see const async wrapper equals roll or all oh my god return async Yes, try catch obviously. Catch error. Try. Is it working? Did I make uh, something wrong? Did I forget something? Uh, what happened there? It gets quite annoying at any moment. I'm just gonna copy paste. Yes. <laughs> well, what's going on here? So I'm writing the uh, async await here and I'm passing the uh, function that I want to use here so that uh, in my controllers, I won't have to write async await all over again. I will just wrap them with this async wrapper uh, function and I'm exporting it so I can go back to my items and uh, const async wrapper. I required it. Now let's see what I'm going to do. I will go, I will create an add item because I want to add items. Const add item no 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 not async rec no async wrapper yes then async <laughs> now i can just get the name from rec buddy well what are we doing here we are destructuring we are taking the name from rec buddy because this is the request buddy so it's basically what we will enter uh, in our request mm, yeah and uh, yeah i will need uh, shall i do that now let's not okay just let's let's do it why not why not i mean why not let's write the multiple middleware to let's do everything it's good yeah and yes yeah problem yeah yeah there is a problem here what did i do wrong i always do something wrong of course of course of course no 
as usual I have to export these get items add item okay it's all good now uh, I will write the download file you will see how each of these parts will end up together I know this is kind of scattered but like this is how it's done at least this is how I learned it uh, let's download file a sync wrapper tac tac yes now const id reg params here uh, I need the id uh, that this id will be created by mongodb itself so I don't have to create a schema for it I need the id because I need to know which file what file uh, I'm going to download so const item await item find by id id <laughs> if item doesn't exist yeah let's actually return next yeah 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 all good yes so if the item is isn't found we are going to uh, return an error um <clears throat> const file item dot file now const file pet this is not js stuff pet join their name here it should be here right file uh it should be around here like it should be correct we will see pet join we will see rest download you know like this this i i didn't know about this uh, rest download uh, before doing this project i was actually first i uh, i mean the, the rest download was suggested to me by github copilot first i i downloaded uh, i uh, um i installed an npa pa npm package called mime types and uh, I used it like mime lookup file set header and so on and so on and it 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 works fine and then copilot just suggested me that there is this too and it works fine okay like this is our controllers right now it seems weird what, what are these what, what the hell is this I mean what's gonna happen that in our roots we are going to define our endpoints like you know uh, I mean uh, local host to uh, 3000 slash say uh, create item add item get items etc etc and in our roots I will call uh, in our roots we will call these functions so these are like this is how they work let me show you let me show you we go to our roots I know if you don't know the MVC pattern which I'm not an expert of it, it, at first it's kind of confuse, confusing how they all fit together but after a couple of application you 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 understand okay this is this is much easier than putting everything in one place in index yes that's that's that that will be madness madness i say that was the uh, that was said by what was the main character in that 70s show eric foreman he was saying that okay items in in roots we are going to create another items js file and now i need sorry now i need to yeah now i need to use the malta wither middleware okay sorry about that we are we are going to come back to routes but first we will need to write some very ugly code okay i ready I'm not Malter GS. So what is Malter? Let's see. So this is the uh, we we installed it, you know, and we cannot see anything. Can we? Can we read anything? Yes. Uh, you see uploading files 
which is primar primarily used for uploading files. We need Malter. Without Malter, I have no idea how I will do this, honestly. I have no idea. <clears throat> Maybe I should speak louder. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to do a tutorial. What I'm doing, what I'm doing with my life, I don't know. I just like it, I guess. I just like this kind of stuff. Let's go back. Yes, we are here. Now, const malter require. Really? I wonder what? Require malter. Configure how the files are stored. Const storage malter disk storage. Yes, yes. Destination function rec file cb means callback where to store the file so i'm writing this so that you can uh, follow callback null upload so we are going to store our files in this upload folder that we have created at the beginning this this is why we created this it's empty right now because we haven't uh, added any uh, files into it but that's uh, how it goes file name yes callback uh, well cv just wonderful just wonderful what is wrong why? What? What? Okay, I will. You know, you know what I will do. I always uh, make some mistakes here. Oh, of, of course. Um, const file filter. Now, actually, we don't need this, but I want to add this so that I can show you that we have this option. Like, we can choose. Uh, what type of files we want to accept and in our application I just want to accept JPEG, PNG, PNG and PDF so like if you try to uh, upload a TXT or Markdown or EPUB or like some anything other than P PDF, uh, JPEG and PNG it will reject so if file oh mime type yeah it's better i don't write them uh, one by one i'm just gonna copy paste because this is just annoying i'm so, i'm sorry not sorry like th this is what we are doing if the file mime type isn't jpeg or you know this means or PNG or application PDF reject that's, that's it and now we have to write an upload function no 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 yeah limits yes I will need some limits yes yes how easy it looks right oh my god this is what programming like this th th this is very easy programmers like programming life is extremely easy you just click uh, like everything is given you by the ai and so on and so on and you just have to, you just need to click enter and all is done ah, i wish it was like this the the, the thing is I, I mean if you have been watching my tutorials so far you know before creating these tutorials i create an application like the, the same application more or less and since I uh, I write call I write the code my VS code as far as I understand it works like this it sees the code that uh, it 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 interfere it, it infers that I'm gonna use the same thing because I'm following the same path so well right now we we, we, we wrote our uh, multi functionality you know and uh, we just need to upload uh, uh, we just need to uh, export the upload function because we don't we don't need we, we need to upload them you know like they, they 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 are just being used by the upload function so we are just uh, exporting to upload it's all good this is our uh, 
malter uh, middleware. Let's go to our roots. Now we can write our notes. Roots. Roots. Const. <sighs> Upload. We have just written this. Require middleware malter. Wonderful. Const express require express. Um, did I export them? Yes. Now I have to import them because I need this. You know, the, the, the only reason I'm creating these uh, roots like differently is because I don't want to clutter my code. I just want to get these functions and put them into endpoints. That's that's all I want to do in life. Like that's that's it. I just I just want to get these. <laughs> I just want to get these functions that's that's enough and this is how we destructure it require controllers items i have my functions now i will need the rotor too because we are rooting yes now rotor root oh my god it directly sees you know I, i'm checking the code i've written uh, on my second screen so that I, I don't want to make any uh, crazy mistakes whilst uh, recording the tutorial uh, but it always amazes me how copilot takes exactly uh, what I've written what are we doing here if <clears throat> uh, on this means that it's the root if on local host 3000 I call uh, the I send a get request, it will, let me open this to the right, yeah, oh my god, what I do, this means that if on localhost 2000, I send a get request, it will fire the get items function, if at the same root, localhost 3000, base root, base URL, I send the post request it will fire the add item function and it will use uh, the upload function that we have defined in multi middleware here so that we can upload files you know now <clears throat> router root yeah download because i want to do it like this if I go to localhost 3000 slash download slash the ID of the uh, item, it will fire the function like and post a, and fire a get request. Uh, it will fire the download file function. Now I have to export my router to why? Uh, because I will have to go back to my express.js, ah, my index.js, sorry. And <clears throat> Well, use this, you know, but to use them, I have to uh, require them and items router require roots items like I'm not this, the one just we have created here. I'm requiring this because I just exported it because I need it. Um, up, use, yes exactly and do i need anything else no well what is this why i'm writing api version one items well um this is like a convention you know this is the my api this is version one i don't have to write this uh but i mean why why not i mean let's follow the best practices uh, as much as we can and um what does it mean here like I, I have written items well in this application it doesn't make much sense because we only have one controller one schema etc etc but imagine an application i have many controllers many models schemas many routes etc etc say i have items and say i have users okay i have a schema for users controllers functions for users etc etc then um i will to create a, a app use api version one users uh endpoint so uh to differentiate between them when i write this 
uh, when I write this here and call this items router, uh, it means that whenever I go, whenever I go to this localhost 3000 API uh, slash version one slash items, uh, this is the base URL. So that, uh, so this, <laughs> this base URL is now this. And uh, when I uh, want to download, I have, I will have to write uh, API version one items slash download slash ID. Well, it should work right now, but we have to try. We don't know. Let's first see if, yeah, everything seems fine, but I mean, we have to see. Uh, well, we don't have a uh, front end right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Postman. Uh, you see? Well, I've already created uh, a collection and uh, some requests here in YouTube MongoDB collection. Uh, so we are going to use it. Let's let's add an item. So you see localhost 3000 API version B uh, version one <laughs> items. <laughs> I was going to say version B which is uh, beer means one in Turkish, my mother tongue. Yeah, it, it, sometimes it just snaps back <laughs> uh, the mother tongue. Okay, um, it's a post request, so I, I need to enter some things. What do I need to enter? Let's go and check. What was, we, we had a name and we had a file. Well, Normally I will use application JSON, but since we, I'm going to add file, I will be using I will be using form data. You know, normally I will use if there was no file, I will use raw and JSON. But uh, I'm going to do that uh, right now. Some file. Yeah, let's see. Uh, did, <laughs> I didn't explain, sorry. Um, well, th th this is our <clears throat> name field here, RecBody, and it's our file field. We, we need this, we need the keys to be name and file because we have defined them as such in our uh, schema. Uh, if I wrote something else, it wouldn't work. But let's see, I don't know bomb, if it's gonna work or not. No, it didn't work. Why? Uh... Reading path. Interesting. I don't know why it didn't work. You know what? I need a break. And let me pause it a little bit and I will uh, see why it didn't work and uh, I will get back to you in a minute. Hello again. I took my break. Um, well, of course it didn't work because the file that I was uh, trying to send didn't exist because I've deleted it. So I just, you see, we, we have a success here. I'm going to show you again. Um, in Postman, I can choose file or text in form data. I'm choosing file. Yeah. I'm going to choose this Virgo sign. And no, I don't believe in astrology. I just created an application about astrology that's why I have the images anyway I sent the post request and it uh, returns a success let's let's check uh, if uh, if everything went okay or not let's browse my collections what what was the name of uh, the, hmm. mongodb file to to, to items I have two items because I posted two items. Wonderful. Now let's see if I can get items. So localhost 3000 API version one items send. I have my items. Let me try to download one of them. So uh, we want version one items download and ID. What's going to happen? And bam. You know, everything is working seamlessly right now. 
Uh, this means that this picture, is, this image has been downloaded. Let's let's try with the second ID, so you will see, like it's working right now. I'm the best. Bam. But I mean, right now our backend is done, huh? Eh? Like th th this is this is, this is all. We are not gonna do anything else on the backend. So if you are not interested in how we are gonna actually uh, download, uh, retrieve the file, you can cut the tutorial short but don't do it because why i mean let's let's see how we are gonna do it let's close it we don't, we don't need this anymore we are done you know that's that's you know now i will just what i'm going to do well it's working yeah what i want to do is i want to create a react application I will go to client npm init read latest. Uh, I'm going to use wit instead of create react app because wit is faster. Uh, I like wit. And this uh, dot uh, forward slash backward slash. I don't know. This means that uh, you know normally uh, when you say write uh, npx create react app after after the command you write the name of the folder uh, that you want the project to be created in but if you write this 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 means that create the project in this very folder which is uh, empty right now so well it will be react javascript bum see npm install hmm? oh it's blazing fast I don't know how good is it for production, but for development, it's wonderful. I like it. npm run dev. Let's go here. And we have our bit application running. Wonderful. Let's go to our client, our src folder, source folder. Uh, oh, by the way, I, I forgot to show you something. You know, uh, we uploaded some files right now uh, we, we have our uploads folder in the API and we have our uploaded files here and it's cool I mean this is why we had our uploads file anyway mm. well now I will do some 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 things here. Let me see. I'm gonna check. I, I'm just going to check what I have been doing with my styling. I, I put a little bit styling. Well, first of all, I'm not going to use the index CSS. I don't want it. Bam. Also, I'm not going to use that. That's 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 not gonna. Wait 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 wait. I want to copy this and rfc wonderful just wonderful and i'm going to delete everything sorry mate i don't need your styling bam i have a empty i have an empty application so um <clears throat> now it's the front end part first 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 i just want to add this uh here in my app CSS, it's not important. I will just create a uh, class add items and I will put these uh, flex buckles commands there. It's not important. This is not a CSS course, as you remember, there's not much CSS at all. So, this is uh, all about how we can get how we can get the file, how we can download it. So well, we will need some hooks. We will need use state. We will need use effect. And we will need use ref. You'll see why. And oh, we will need Axios because I like Axios. And we are here, right? Yeah. NPM e Axios. Axios is like a fetching library. I mean, we, we could use the built-in fetch API also, but I like Axios better. Um, I will start by defining some uh, states, you know, const 
Nope. Items. Set items. Use state. Yes. Const. I don't even know if I will use it, but let's let's put it. Const file input ref equals use ref null const name set name use state. Now let me write my functions. No, 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 no. That's not how. We are going to rule, mate. Let's write our functions. I'm tired, sorry. I'm really tired. Maybe I should... Next time I should break the tutorial into pieces. <clears throat> Const get items equals async function. Please give me my try catch. Please give me my try catch. Set loading true try yes it gave me my try catch so log error now what i'm going to do well basically i'm going to send a get request to this address that's that's what i'm going to do const res equals no not fetch axios gets tuck um Set items res data items. Well, I for one know that this is the way how to do it, and I want to console log. Console log res data items. Um, and let yeah, let's put this get items into here, and let's see how it's gonna be if it's working or not axios is not defined of course it's not defined i didn't import axios import axios axios well, you cannot use it if you use it if you don't define it and we have our items here what's going on here what is this what what's going on you know what what did i do here i i sent a get request using get items function and with user fake i'm calling the get items uh, function at component on mount that's user effect that's I, I like user effect it's it's quite cool now i want to add item const add item async yes of course i think that's prevents default please i i don't want any refresh yes try catch try catch now i Yes. Well, do you remember how did we um, add an item? You know, we, we used form data, right? Yeah. So uh, we need to we need to uh, say that form that I append name name yes form that append now. This this is our file file input ref current files at zero. This is our our file. Const trace await axios post local loss of reward. Is it is it correct? No. Is it? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it seems right. And I want to see the rest. <clears throat> okay, let's see rest data if it's gonna work. I want to see the rest, man. That's that's what I want. Now the tricky, 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 tricky part. <sighs> Download file. This is really ugly code, you know. Really, really, really ugly code. Do I? No, I. I want to. I want to write file. Now, I want my try catch. Now what I'm going to do? Well, I'm going to send a get request, but this is kind of a different get request because, like, how the hell I'm going to get the file? It's it's not a string. It's it's. Uh, I need to use something for it. You know, I cannot just make a get request. And 
luckily there is something I can use. Let's first send our request, you know, const res await axios gets what was I? Uh, let me just copy. Now, you see what is this? Um, this is the uh, file ID. I could have written ID uh, here. Let's actually let's do that. Why not? Why not? Let's change this to ID. How did I do that? How did I do that? <laughs> um, in VS Code, if you press Control and keep pressing it, and if you like, if you are, when you are uh, selecting some, something, and if you press Control and D, the letter D, it will go and try to find uh, the exact same uh, string, and then you can do something with all of them. It's quite easy. And not easy, sorry, quite useful. Now it's all good. I I have to add something here. This is this is very important. I I have to add a response type blob. I need blob. Blob. What is blob? What is blob? Let's see. The blob object represents a blob, which is a file-like object of immutable raw data. You know, so th this is this is very 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 useful, and we are going to use it here. Const blob blob new blob res data type res data type no no. I'm sorry, this is not how we are going to write it. We are going to write it as such type race data type because I want to give the type myself. That's, that's what I want. Const link, I need to link to. Const link because we need to download it. Link href window URL create object URL blob. Yeah, correct link download wow no 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 oh okay let's let's try normally normally i, I was this is what i've done beforehand but let's let's try well, what's gonna happen i don't know let's let's trust uh GitHub copilot <sighs> now, you know, do you, do you remember the flexbox thingy that I showed in AppCSS? This is it's coming to this wrapper. Add items. What do I need to add here? I need an input to enter the name. I need an input to enter the file, and I need a button to add the uh, input. Add the item now. I want to add a placeholder. Placeholder add name on change. Yes, tag tag set name a target value. So this is. Uh, like each time, whenever uh, each time the, the, the value changes, it will set the state. So I'm still thinking, how am I going to edit this video? I don't know how to edit, you know, I, I don't know. That's yeah. Well, uh, you, do you remember the file input ref? here well we are using it uh, in our uh, file input here so it goes I need a button on click add item so right now it should work let's see let's see 
Um, some, some, yeah, well, whatever. No, something else. Yes. Let's see. Oh my God, I got an Axios error. I don't know why. What the hell was that? Oh my God. What was that? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Let's maybe it was the, the, the problem was here. What was that? Um. Okay. Um. Unexpected field. Why? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break and check what is the problem, and I will be back real quick. Yep, I found where the problem was. Sometimes I, I, I tire myself a lot. You know, well, we don't have an image field. It's, it should be file. That's why there is a problem. See, right now we are getting a success. It's wonderful. Anyway, let's go back to our code. Now, well, we can upload stuff, but I want to also be able to download them. Wait, 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 wait. Just wait. Now, um, you know, I, I set the items when I get them, set items, set the, set the, the items. So uh, I want to, I, I would like to show them, you know, uh, on the page. But uh, in order to do that without problem, I first want to make sure that they are here, arrived. And then I'm going to map like so. Tuck, tuck. No, I hate whenever this happens. Yeah. Confuses me, you know? Each and every time, yes. Like the syntax of JavaScript, it's like, why, man, why? Like, why? You gonna do that? Um, nope. I didn't like what you have shown me. We need keys uh, for each React mapped element item plus underscore ID. This underscore ID is coming from MongoDB database itself. H3 item or oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And um, under it, button. Download file. Yeah, I'm so tired, guys. Sorry, and it's getting too hot in here. Next time, I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to divide the tutorial into size chunks, like byte chunks. Download file. Yeah. Chim that's id it's okay all good and what i'm doing on click uh, i'm calling the download file uh, function which is here and i'm passing the id of the item the mapped item so that i will uh, download uh, that one functions are not um Probably I have made a mistake here because I'm tired, 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 so tired. Yes, here around somewhere, probably I made a mistake. Let's see. All good. Now, so this is the latest version. I don't know what I did wrong here. Let's name item. What did I wrong? What did I did wrong? 
turn on click everything seems fine but i don't know um, and i'm too tired to find out like this is the correct version okay <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna put this on github so you'll see let's try i'm tired <laughs> um moon logo add success i'm tired is here download file we have downloaded the latest file here yes okay that's it it was a long tutorial i got tired i was already tired i hope i was able to of something useful i hope you got something from this um let's meet next time and let's make some better tutorial next time so take care ciao